Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mayor's Monday message for June 21st, 2021. Uh, happy solstice, happy uh, first day of summer to everyone. And uh, with that comes, uh, of course, the heat and humidity. So please keep an eye out on your, for your family members and your friends and neighbors and pets and make sure that everybody is uh, staying cool and uh, getting hydrated and everybody is healthy. Um, just back from my uh, time with my daughter down in South Carolina and uh, I had a beautiful time, but it's really good to be back. Uh, before any rumors start about me uh, getting in all kinds of brawls, the only fight I got in was uh, with the bottom of a swimming pool. So uh, playing with my daughter, <laughs> I scraped my big nose on the bottom of a swimming pool. So I just wanted to let folks know before they started getting their own ideas. Um, but I, it is good to be back. And um, I got back in just in time for all the Juneteenth events on Saturday. And uh, I learned so much. Ophelia Chambliss, thank you. And thank you to the York County History Center uh, for an amazing presentation on the, uh, the timeline of African-American history. Uh, it was a beautiful overview of uh, African-American history here in York City. And uh, it was just great the way that uh, Ophelia was able to present all that. And at the same time, Ophelia has a show going at the uh, Market View Arts um, that I was able to go and take in. And that's the portraits that she's done of so many of us around the city of York. And uh, uh, it's very kind of her to uh, acknowledge the folks. So uh, you might be on, if you don't know, uh, probably most people know already, but um, there's a lot of uh, York City folks that are, uh, that are hanging on the walls of uh, Market View Arts right now. Some really cool pictures, uh, paintings done by Ophelia Chambliss. Um, and while you're there, my friend uh, Andy Simpson has a, uh, an amazing show on the third floor called Load Bearing, and it's some new work by her, uh, Market View Arts, right on the first block of West Philadelphia Street. So lots of good stuff over there. And then, of course, the amazing Juneteenth event uh, at Campus Park and Bonnie Grimes Gym. Thank you to everyone that was involved in that, that helped to organize that. Um, another great time and, uh, uh, you know, people getting to talk about, um, about the past and the future. You know, what do we need to do to move forward out of, uh, out of dark times? Whether it's the distant dark times, the recent dark times, or what you may think are the dark times right now. What do we have to do to uh, come up with solutions? That's our job all of us, not just people in office, but we all need to work together to try and uh, evolve this human race. And, uh, you know, Saturday was a day, uh, Juneteenth, of commitment and recommitment to our own evolution and uh, learning how to treat each other properly with uh, justice and equity. Uh, finally, at uh, Union Lutheran Church, there's a wonderful uh, block party, uh, free food, entertainment uh, for the kids, lots of stuff to do. And I uh, wanted to thank everybody that was involved in that. It was really a great day for Juneteenth, the first official federal holiday, uh, Juneteenth. So that's very exciting news also. Uh, more exciting news, uh, the cases are down of corona. They're can't down but not, not out. So they could come back to haunt us if we're not careful. But uh, the cases are down for the first time since August of last year, August of 2020. They're down below 50 cases per 100,000 residents over a 14-day period. So that's really remarkable. Um, we did a great job, everybody, but keep it up. Remember, if you're not vaccinated yet, uh, you still do have to wear a mask. Uh, so please, please follow the rules so that we can keep these cases going down in the right direction. If you are uh, wanting to get a vaccine right across the street here at 116 uh, North or South George Street, excuse me, Family First Health is giving vaccines on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but you have to uh, schedule appointment. And also they're doing two different types of uh, vaccines. So the one dose vaccine is being given on Tuesdays, uh, the Johnson & Johnson uh, dose. And the uh, Moderna vaccine, which takes two different trips, uh, that's going on, on or being uh, distributed or um, uh, given on Thursday. So please either call ahead 717-812-4495 or you can get on mywellspan.org for that. Other thing that's going good uh, is 
Uh, there's a lot of good stuff here today. Uh, jobs, jobs, jobs. Whether it's jobs uh, in the community or jobs at the city of York, there are jobs out there if you are seeking. So uh, please contact uh, Harry O. Colon. Uh, he's working at the Job Center down on South George Street, a new initiative that is just amazing. It's been getting career training for folks and also jobs. Right now, appliance installers uh, and uh, d helpers and delivery, um, no CDL required. Uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, pick up a job there. Uh, please just message Harry O'Colone directly and uh, he'll be able to help you out. Also, the City of York, 15 different positions open at the City of York right now. The whole way from business administrator, basically running the entire finances of the city, um, into community health nursing, community health emergency preparedness, community health specialist, another community health specialist, uh, the director of the Bureau of Health, um, human relations investigator, uh, playground assistants, playground directors, property maintenance inspectors, um, a public health emergency coordinator, seasonal laborers, staff accountant, so and wastewater treatment plant operator. So a gamut of skill ranges. You do have to be a, a resident for, I believe, every one of these positions. So uh, uh, please, if you're a resident of the city or are interested in moving into the city of York, you can go to the website there that I've provided and uh, you can submit your applications. We are hiring now. Um, a wonderful exhibit. I've learned about it, but I haven't gotten to uh, visit it yet uh, for uh, LGBTQ plus uh, month, awareness month. Um, this, uh, with open hearts and open arms, uh, it's really an amazing story in 1980 of all of the refugees that came from Cuba and how many of them were fleeing persecution uh, from the Cuban government. Uh, many uh, gay, lesbian, trans uh, individuals were uh, uh, fleeing persecution at the time. And folks in this area, uh, centered out of Indian Town, Fort Indian Town Gap, were able to, uh, to help relocate and, and help get them uh, kind of on their feet as citizens here in the United States. So it's a really amazing story and uh, um, amazing uh, exhibition right around the corner here at 59 East Market Street, the York uh, College Center for Community Engagement. And the contact is on there. Uh, finally, the West End Community Meeting and Dinner tomorrow night over at Lincoln Charter School. Uh, that's out at 559 West King Street. And uh, they have uh, different organizations can attend. I'm um, sorry, Annie, for some reason your link wouldn't uh, link onto the, the page, but uh, Annie Clark is your contact. If you'd like to have your organization represented at the dinner and meeting, uh, you can contact her directly uh, or call 717-817-4019. Uh, Otherwise, the dinner is tomorrow from 5 to 7 on the West End. So I hope all my West End neighbors will, uh, will join us and we can have a great meeting and talk about uh, more things to come uh, to improve the west end of the city. So that's all I've got for right now. Again, I'm very, very glad to be back. Um, it gets a little, uh, you get a little, I wouldn't say nervous, but antsy about what's going on uh, uh, when you're not here in the city. Um, but uh, uh, I'm, everybody held it down. I want to thank our business administrator, Tom Ray, for being the acting mayor uh, while I was, uh, while I was uh, with my daughter down in South Carolina. And I uh, want to thank him in general. He will be retiring in uh, just a few days now, I think, uh, maybe a couple weeks, a couple days. Uh, so he has just been amazing for the city of York with, for uh, what he's done his, with his time here. So I want to thank Tom Ray. And uh, if you see Tom Ray around the city, please thank Tom Ray. And I hope I see you around the city of York. Uh, again, stay cool. There's going to be some thunder thunderstorms, so stay safe. But uh, I hope you have a good week and enjoy the city of York. Have a good one.